In this section, we'll discuss custom template tags and filters. We'll start out with filters, since they're simpler. Then we'll cover template tags. You've probably used filters in your templates. One that people often try out at first is upper. We can see how it works here. We display a variable, but then we add a pipe, and then at the end, the name of the filter. Some filters can take a parameter. For example, the date filter takes a string that describes a date format. In this case, you'd use the pipe, the filter name, and then a colon and the parameter in quotes, like this. In order to create your own filters or template tags, your app has to have a module called template tags. And yes, it does need the init.py file. If you have a set of filters and template tags that you use on multiple projects, you can create a Django app just for these template tags. In that case, the app still needs to be installed in the settings.py file. What you name your files inside the template tags folder doesn't matter. In this case, I'll put my filters inside of a file called filters.py. However, it's no problem at all if I called this file fred.py. Likewise, I can have multiple files for my filters so that related filters are in the same one. In my filter module, I need to import the template module from Django. This will allow me to use the register decorator. To create a filter, I just define a function that takes one or two values, and then I decorate it with register.filter. In these cases, I'm also specifying that the isSafe property is true to let Jenga know that I've already checked my strings to ensure they're safe. I'm actually lying because I haven't checked Publisher to see if it's clean. In your own projects, be sure to check the HTML your filter returns to ensure it's clean. If you're not sure that your markup is safe, set it to false and Django will escape potentially unsafe characters. You can learn more about this in the custom template tags documentation. The first filter doesn't take a parameter. It simply takes a variable that my template passes in and then assigns it to the value publisher. My filter is called publisher underscore link. So to use it in my template, I would add the pipe symbol followed by publisher underscore link. The value of publisher will be passed into my function. Before this will work though, I need to load the filters. The reason I'm saying load filters here is because I named my file filters.py. If I had named it fred.py, then instead I would say load fred. My second filter is called YouTube Embed, and it does accept a parameter. The URL will be passed in as the variable. And if the embed should be HD, then I'll pass in true with a colon. I think you see now that this is not rocket science. The main issue that I run into is that I forget to create a module called template tags. And sometimes I forget to add my app to the installed apps in settings.py. I make one of these two mistakes pretty much every time. Once I do remember to add the app, everything works fine though.